guys, welcome to Electric Bike Lab. This is Miles, and today we're going to be installing a Tom Chang motor onto this folding e bike. It's a bike Friday. So, let's get ready to do it. Here's a closer look at everything that's included with the kit brake levers, as you can see, everything here. So, these are not normally included with the kit, um, we provide them. Uh, but you can see here that there is a bracket on the back. So this bracket only works for a certain amount of bikes um, that have basically that hole where a kickstand would go through. So these bikes don't have that, so instead what we do is use hose clamps, um, use some heat shrink so that it doesn't scratch up the frame. Uh, they are cross links, so you got one around the motor, one around the frame down here. And just find that that really helps keep the motors from moving. Use this uh, extractor to extract these crank arms off. So you screw it in, and then this is already loosened, but impact gun or just a regular tool and that will pull this right out. Same on the other side. Crank cup pulling tool or threading tool. On the left side, that is counterclockwise to remove that. Same thing. <laughs> On the drive side, drive side is clockwise to remove it. And there goes your bottom bracket. All right, so we have the bike mounted up on the bench right now. Here is our empty bottom bracket shell. Here is the motor. So what we're going to do is start sliding that into the bottom bracket shell. You're going to see these cables are going to start to interfere. And those are nice and tucked behind there now. So we're going to pull this all the way to meet the bottom bracket. Here what we want to do is quickly scan if these spacers are going to be the right size to go behind this bracket right here. So you can see there's a little gap in between uh, the plates, obviously, and uh, where the threads are. So let's take a look at that and measure that out with a set of calipers. Now we're getting these spacers in place just to see how much clearance we have on this motor.
It's got these handlebar things mounted up now. Top here are going to be facing upward as it enters. So what you might notice is that they are pretty tough to get in. So what you can do is get it kind of part of the way in and then go in there with some needle nose and then you can use the leverage of the needle nose to clip it in place. Okay. Plug this into here. Okay, our handlebar is fully dressed up. We got our brake levers, we got our switch, display, throttle, brakes. Take our cable, nice and tight. Got a battery in place. Let's fire it up. All right, we are looking good. Throttle makes it move. Good. Now we just have to hook up the speed sensor. The speed sensor plugs in right here. We're gonna run it so that it looks like this. Screw this magnet in place and then tighten it with a flathead. Okay, so we got this in place. This is nice and tight. I actually used a uh, pair of pliers because this is a knurled and just tighten it with pliers. Okay, our speed sensor is all zip tied in place, not going anywhere. It's on the speed sensor and the magnet line up. Um, I didn't have it lined up before. Very hard to see that arrow, arrow. but yeah, it's great, great just there. Now you can see the motor on, throttle, we're getting the speed, side, speed sensor. Given information. All right, you're good to go. All right, guys, thanks a lot for checking out this video. If you have any questions about uh, mounting your own Tom Shay motor on your own bike, uh, feel free to drop a comment. And any questions you might have, I'll try my best to, to answer it. Uh, these are awesome motors though. They're, they're lightweight, they're um, not too expensive, and they have really good performance. And they also have the ability to upgrade. So there's the open source firmware, which is something that community members all across the world have helped develop. And this bike actually, I've uploaded the open source firmware. If you're interested in a video of how to do that, uh, drop a comment below. But that's how this is able to run a 52 volt battery. I normally can't. Yeah, these things are awesome. Uh, so, uh, thanks all for watching the video. Happy you guys can stay safe.